Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Muhammad with a reading lesson for all kindergarten students at Bethune Elementary. Today we are continuing with the standard with prompting and support, ask and answer questions about unknown words in a text. Our learning target today is I can use text evidence to answer questions about unknown words and determine their meanings. You say it with me. I can use text evidence to answer questions about unknown words and their meanings. Why do we need to identify unknown words and their meanings? It's important to, it's important to identify words that you don't know while reading to help you understand what you're reading better. So we're not going to just skip over the words that we don't know. We're going to use our clues to figure out the words that we don't understand. What questions can we ask ourselves to help us figure out words that we don't know while reading? Remember to ask yourself these questions. What clues can I find in the words? So we reread and we look very listen and read very carefully to find clues in the words and then what clues can i find in the pictures we look at the pictures carefully and we think about what's happening in these pictures that will help me understand the words today we're going to use this strategy while reading the book america's champion swimmer Gertrude Ederl. I'm sorry, Gertrude Ederly. Before we go, before we look at the, before we begin, please make sure that you have watched the read aloud for this book and the playlist. So you can go, you can stop this video and go back and listen to the story before you read with me. Now that you've read your, the book, let's go back and let's find some words that we might not understand. So in this book, American's Champion Swimmer, we learned about a woman who became one of the greatest swimmers ever. A long time ago, women didn't have the same rights as men, but Gertrude wanted to become the best swimmer, even though people told her that women couldn't do it. And she learned from her father as a young girl, and she became a Olympic swimmer and became one of the best swimmers in the world. But she had a dream to swim the English Channel, which no woman had ever swam before. So she wanted to take on the ultimate challenge of swimming the English Channel. And the first time she tried, she didn't make it, but she kept trying. And we're going to start right here. Now Trudy began to have trouble kicking in the water. When the Alsace came close again, Trudy said her left leg had become stiff. Her trainer was frightened for her. He yelled, you must come out. What for? Trudy shouted and kept swimming. Trudy continued to fight the tide and, con and the constant stinging spray of water in her face. She knew that she would either swim the channel or drown. Now, I found a word that I'm not sure what it means and that word is trainer. The words say that Trudy's trainer was frightened for her and yelled for her to come out. Hmm. So those are the clues from the words that tells me what a trainer is. So the trainer 
was one of these people that was frightened for her and yelling for her to come out. Then what picture clues can I find? I see three people yelling to Trudy, but one of them is moving his arm. I think that man is Trudy's trainer. And I think that man helps Trudy become a good swimmer. He helps her with her swimming and he tries to keep her safe. So when I think about all of the clues, I think a trainer means a person who coaches or helps keep another person safe. So I think this guy right here is Trudy, is Gertrude's trainer, and he's teaching her, he's her trainer. He teaches her how to swim. And he's the person that helps her know what to do in this dangerous situation. You can also find picture clues on other pages. If you heard the word trainer on another page, we can go back and we can find the word trainer and we can use those clues as well to help us understand what a trainer is. Here's another picture of the trainer helping her in the water. So we know a person who is a trainer is someone who helps to teach us something that we need help learning how to do. Now you use the word trainer in a sentence. Pause the video and try to use the word trainer in a sentence. Tell your sentence to someone in your house. Now I want you to practice identifying the meaning of an unknown word. The word that we're going to determine the meaning for is sure. I'm going to read a small part from this page and I want you to use your picture clues and the words to determine the meaning of sure. As Trudy neared Kingsdown on the coast of England, she saw thousands of people gathered to greet her. They lit flares to guide her to the shore. Use those words and picture clues to determine the meaning of shore. Which picture shows a shore? Think about the picture clues and what we read about what a shore is and think about which one of these pictures shows a shore. That's all for today, boys and girls. Remember, we're learning how to determine unknown words in a text, and we will continue tomorrow using a different text to determine unknown words.